वेलकम टू ऑफ यूट्यूब चैनल योर वर्ल्ड फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन topic for the day is process approach and continual improvement well before getting into the topic thanks to all those who have subscribed to my channel and watching my videos continuously and for those who haven't yet please check out my videos and if you like share and subscribe right let's get into the topic process approach and continual improvement what is a process a process or as some people call it as process is a conversion of an input into an output when we want to see work as a process we need to be aware of all our strategies and tactics and the methodologies that we are planning to use so it's more of a planning thing the input is planning and the output is value to the customer it's always the customer satisfaction which is of paramount importance in any defined or planned work there will be a lot of activities multiple activities all these multiple activities are grouped as a process which means a process is a group of activities a process is a set of interrelated or interacting activities a web of activities so we need to create processes processes are created or manifested to achieve results for the customers so a process view of work is more of a value chain in which each activity or step contributes to the end results that is the customer satisfaction or the customer delight while some activities may directly contribute value to the customers while others may contribute indirectly but any step that doesn't contribute to the value addition that is the customer delight or satisfaction is not a valid or worthy step in the process there are different types of processes there could be management process there could be business process and there could be support processes so management processes in short are involved with goal setting and developing and deploying strategies so and attaining these goals to establish and manage the organization and support the businesses business processes are the mission create mission critical process that are core to the value of the organization and that are seen and experienced by uh, customers process that supports the needs of the business organizations or the support processes processes should be effective efficient and adaptable when an organization or an individual thinks of an improvement it is it means that they want to move into a zone which is not of their comfort zone that is they question the current practices and the current level of performance only then when you are ready to move out of the comfort zone you reach point called improvement the identification of process or product non conformities and eliminating them in uh, every phase of work it may not be a, a kind of uh, one of uh, target it could be a continual improvement small improvements what we call as kaizen it may be a reduction of uh, waste or it may be a uh, elimination of rework or something of this sort this means that the organization has to constantly innovate they need to have a planned methodology to incorporate all the lessons learned into the future activities or processes there are a wide array of tools statistical tools to help organization reach their uh, improvements and uh, their goals could be any quality tool it could be a, a 
statistical process control, it could be 7 QC tools, it could be 11 QC tools, it could be a 5S methodology, it could be a quality function deployment, or it could be a, a employee engagement, it could be implementation of lean, or implementation of uh, Six Sigma projects, or uh, implementation of lean Six Sigma, whatever it is, there are a plenty of tools with which you can do this. It depends on the size and level of your organization. Benchmarking is a methodology where the performance of a company's product services or processes are compared to those of the best in the industry. It means that the point of benchmarking is to identify opportunities for improvement in a larger scale. Improvement is something that aims to attain level of performance that is slightly better than the current level of performance. There are histories of uh, quality circles and caissons that have transformed businesses. So remember that small improvements are not small. Though they are called as small improvements, they are not small at all. A gradual improvement has much more than the sum of the improvements that have been made in a particular time period. The PDCA cycle uh, discovered by uh, Deming, Deming, Sir Edward Deming, is both planning, doing, checking, and acting, which means an our activity is organized in such a way that planning is a process. The implementation is a process and the checking is a process and the act is also a process which means which means that you need to establish implement maintain and continually improve a process these are the phrases that you would come across in an iso standard or a management system standard reason is a japanese word which can be broken into k and zen Zen means good, K means change, Kaizen means change for good. To make a process uh, efficient, effective, to have it under control and uh, adaptable, we need to break the process into simple process rather than being having a complex process in place, which means a process should have a lot of sub-processes and then we we'll have to start with the improvements. International Standard for Quality Management, the ISO 9001-2015 is based on the PDCA approach, the process approach and uh, this standard is built upon the quality management principles that is the customer focus, leadership, engagement of people, process approach, improvement, evidence-based decision making and uh, relationship management. International standard advocates for the uh, establishment, implementation, uh, maintenance and continual improvement of a process approach. The application of the process approach in this international standard uh, is uh, helpful to understand and consistently meet requirements and value addition could be done in terms of process and effective performance measurement as uh, the order of the day and uh, improvements are based, based on uh, evaluation of data and information which means you have a structured methodology to uh, establish, implement, maintain and continually improve a process or a system. Some organizations choose to implement the Six Sigma projects. Six Sigma methodology is uh, based on five steps, DMAC they call in short. That's define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. Using the Six Sigma approach, one can have a structured approach towards quality management. Whether it is the ISO 9001-2015 implementation or the Six Sigma implementation in your organization, it requires a lot of energy, a lot of learning culture, a lot of self-belief, a lot of sharing, a lot of excitement, and many other attributes. Whether it is the system implementation or the project's execution through quality methodology, DMAC, 
it in it demands a lot from the people it, it you should be willing to endure the pain of struggle for the rewards and the awards that you are going to achieve through the implementation of this project or the system implementation sometimes quality circles or employee engagement turns out to be the winning or the game changer Schemes schemes also stimulate and encourage employee participation employee suggestions are also progressive and it could be rewarding as well as for the employees whatever be the size and complexity of the project be it as a small improvement in a sub process or uh, uh, six sigma type of uh, project big projects it is always uh, important to establish a positive attitude and a kind of work culture that uh, shares the goal shares the vision and uh, monitors the progress and uh, uh, an effective communication process and most importantly which is often ignored is the celebration of success this kind of culture will ensure the employee morale is always on the higher side let's take a quick look at the three m's the muda the mura and the muri the three m's were integral part of uh, both the concept of lean as well as the toyota production system the japanese term muda means waste or the top futile only to those activities that customer is willing to pay for is considered as a value addition other than that anything is a waste and it has to be eliminated there are two types of waste the type 1 muda includes non value added activities in the processes that are necessary for the end customer for example inspection or testing may not directly add value but it is for a safe product it is for a right product for customer type 2 muda is for the non value added activities in the process for which the customer is not ready to or incur the charges and this has to be eliminated there are quite a lot of waste in the process for example transportation so that is the excess movement of product is a waste sometimes excess inventory stocking of goods and other raw materials and excess movement of machine or people uh, sometimes you will have to wait for the process to continue that is also a waste sometimes over production is waste sometimes over processing of the product is also a waste and the defects are waste these are the seven different types of waste that are identified as muda word mura means uneven or irregular means that you need to understand that a mura is the reason for any of the mura means if your production capacity is less somewhere and more somewhere then there could be unevenness in the work and there could be some accumulation of waste so you will have to apply the lean principles to level out the workload everywhere so that the work is smooth and there is no unevenness so here the, the principles of uh, just in time or kanban can be applied word muri means overburden which means somebody is doing work more than what they can do which means operators may be utilize more or uh, the machines are utilized more uh, or uh, sometimes employee absenteeism could uh, lead to this or some breakdowns of machines could lead to this so standardization is the way to avoid the muri and equipment and employee should not be overburdened you need to understand that all the waste are related to each other the muda mura and muri are interrelated and they coexist when we start eliminating we start eliminating all of them together lean is the name of the game here yoka yoka is another method by which you can prove the mistakes it is mistake proofing or preventing errors this is again a japanese methodology uh, discovered by shigo shingo and uh, this prevents the mistakes this proves the mistakes which means for example the hotel room when you uh take the key out of the uh thing the lights will get off and similarly with the gas the sim is on one side and the switch off is on the other side just because somebody should not make the mistake of 
moving this. So these are the small pokayokas that you can see in everyday life. Like this, a lot of pokayokas can be applied in the industrial engineering as well. I was workkeeping, work housekeeping, uh, workplace housekeeping methodology, which has uh, five Japanese words, which starts with the English thing, yes, seiri, seitan, seiso, sheiketsu, shitsuke, which means sort, set in order, sweep or shine, standardize and have self-discipline. Although it sounds simple, the implementation is rather a tough one, as I have experienced myself in identifying the uh, three S's, first three S's and uh, having the fourth uh, S of standardization and the fifth S of self-discipline is more of a behavioral aspect. So this requires a lot of time and energy. Sometimes a simple team building technique, some problem solving, some small issues which are there in the uh, shop floor or uh, improving the communication skills, uh, managing the conflicts, and uh, eliminating the conflicts, these also could help in the productivity. A simple visual management or a visual display could change a lot of bother. It could save a lot of bother. Kaizen or small improvements or a culture. And a culture has to be inculcated, which means a lot of participation has to be encouraged, which means the employees have to uh, come out with a lot of suggestions themselves. and they should be awarded the responsibility of uh, fulfilling their suggestions as well. And of course, these small improvements are a moral booster to a lot of people, especially people at the level, implementation level. So by having a process approach and breaking your processes into sub-processes and implementing a lot of continual improvement efforts by means of whatever we have discussed now and there are many other things which we have not discussed and if you know, you could always uh, record it in the comment section as well. You can use this and make a lot of small improvements and transform your businesses through small improvements. Process approach and continual improvements are the order of the day, especially with these unprecedented times when this pandemic has uh, impacted the lives in a big way and especially the morale of the employees. So more of engagement of employees, having a process approach and continually improving would be the order of the new world. It's not a new normal, it's the old normal. Still, you would call it as a new normal, right? I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please do remember to like, subscribe and share. Have a good day. Bye-bye.